My name is Randy de Korte. I'm professor in forensic genetics at the University of Leuven. I graduated in biochemistry at the University of Antwerp and then moved on to the Center for Human Genetics in Leuven, where I obtained my PhD. We were the first lab in Belgium that introduced PCR technology in forensic DNA analysis, in addition to sequence analysis of mitochondrial DNA. And since then, we have provided this service to the police and the justice departments in Belgium. Apart from that, we are also involved in research concerning population genetics, historical investigations, and the past 10 years, a focus on the Y chromosome in the Low Countries, particularly for genealogy studies and for familial searching in DNA analysis. Uh -huh. Anatolia has been an important region for European populations. Starting from with the appearance of the modern humans in Africa, they crossed Anatolia towards Europe. We have seen several populations in Anatolia appearing and disappearing, and sometimes there has been settlements of the populations in Anatolia. If we study this population in ancient DNA, we can see or reveal the genetic variation of this population and compare these genetic variations with other populations currently known in the world. And this way, we see some similarities. For instance, for Sagalassus, we see similarities with the Mediterranean region, the Balkan and Caucasus, which can be explained by the Romans, the Greeks, the Macedonians, and other populations with which there has been migrations or trade uh, in the past. Particularly for psychosis, we have seen also some demographic changes. We could prove that there has been a major reduction in the population uh, starting in the 13th century, and that events like the Justinian plague and the earthquake had only some minor impact on the population itself with a reduction of 10 to 20 percent. 